I know this has been a tough winter. Our country faces some of the biggest challenges any of us will have seen in our lifetimes. With our economy, in our NHS, on our borders. Three months ago, I was brought in to fix those challenges. Now, I want to give you a full update on our progress. Like many countries, the UK faces profound economic challenges. Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine saw all our energy prices rocket. That's why, when I first entered office, we took difficult but fair decisions to get our borrowing and debt under control. That will help us to reduce inflation and ease the pressures you're facing with the cost of living and get you the support you need with your energy bills. Those difficult decisions also allowed us to give the NHS record resources. More funding, more doctors, more nurses. Every family worries about getting the NHS care they need for themselves, their parents, grandparents or children. But Covid has done huge harm to the NHS. It's created massive backlogs, which we're working through. But Britain's heroic response to Covid shows that where the political will exists to really grip a problem, we can bring everyone together and achieve the unthinkable. That takes leadership, so I've immediately set in train a new approach and taken the best of our experience from fighting Covid to reduce NHS backlogs and get patients treated quicker. My dad was a doctor and my mum was a pharmacist. This is personal for me and I'm determined to get the number of people on waiting lists falling and I will not let you down. It's simply not right that people come here illegally. It's unfair on those who follow the rules, on those who really deserve our help. And above all, it's unfair on British taxpayers. It must stop. Under my government, it will stop. We're taking decisive action already, deploying hundreds of new agents to tackle immigration criminals, putting an end to the appalling situation where taxpayers are paying to keep illegal migrants in hotels. And we're introducing new laws that make it unambiguously clear that if you come to our country illegally, you will not have the right to stay and will be removed. Britain will always be a place for global talent and those in dire need. But basic human decency must be accompanied by hard-headed common sense. Under my leadership, the government's priorities are your priorities, the people's priorities. Together, we're putting your needs above politics to repair the economy, strengthen our NHS, tackle illegal migration and restore pride in the United Kingdom, our great country. Thank you.